Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, let's have a look at the first one. Show that the square root of a over a squared, the whole thing is to be squared, is the same as a to the power of minus three. So again, building on the ones we just did um, earlier, it is looking at these rules of indices and figuring out which of them are going to help you resolve that down or simplify it. So I have a few things. I have a, a, a divide or a fraction, okay? And that's rule two, okay? Where you divide the base number always has to be the same in any of the, of the indices rules. Base numbers is the same everywhere. Okay, um, so I have that. And then I have the whole thing to a power. And if I come down here to the bottom, you can see there's a rule there for brackets and the whole thing to a power. Okay, so there's two ways I could approach this. I could do the divide by bit first and, and I think I'll do that first, okay? So the first thing I have to do is to write root A with, an, with a power. And this is this rule here. So like we were saying in the earlier one, the square root of a, any square root, has got a, a two there. Okay, we just don't tend to write it in because we don't use it too often. And therefore, using this rule, a square root can be written as a to the power of one over two. So that a that I have on the bottom, or sorry, that root a I have on the top, can be written as a to the power of a half over a squared, all to be squared. Okay, and then that's equal to, if I look at the divide, so when I have a to the power of p divided by a to the power of q, it's telling me to subtract my powers. So I have a to the power of a half over a to the power of two, and it's telling me to subtract my powers, and it's always the top minus the bottom. Okay, so into my calculator, I am doing a half minus two. And I'm getting minus three over two. So I'm getting a to the power of minus three over two, all to be squared. Okay, because you can see I just carried along the squared with me. I haven't done anything with it yet. Now, this one here is the base number to a power to a power. So that's what I call rule three here in the log tables, a to a power, all to a power. So what is it telling me to do to the powers? It's telling me to multiply them. Okay, so do you see how this is different to the first one where we add the powers? This is a to the power of p, all to the power of q. This is a to the power of p by a to the power of q. So it, it's slightly different. Add the powers when, you, when the base number appears twice, Multiply the power powers when it's a power to a power. So that's therefore in my one then, it's telling me to multiply the power. So it's a to the power of minus three over two by two. And if you put that into the calculator, minus three over two by two, the twos cancel and you get a to the power of minus three. And that's how you do it. Okay, and so that's that one done. Just be careful because the question could also have used this rule here, which is a to the power of minus three. When there's a minus in the power, that is the same as one over a to the positive three. Okay, and as you swing up and down here, up and below the line, the power or the sign changes. So a to the minus three, can also be written as one over a to the plus three. Okay, this question didn't ask for that. It says leave it as a to the minus three. So that was one way of doing that one. Maybe you um, would prefer to get rid of the squared on the outside first. Okay, so let's have a look at, and I'll do this one in blue. Let's have a look at if that's the way you saw the question Okay, where you're doing the squared on the outside. So basically you are using the rule at the bottom where it tells you a bracket 
to the power of P, you square the top or you power the top and you power the bottom. In our case, it's square the top and square the bottom. So that's the same as root A squared over A squared squared. OK, just go back to the rule again. You apply the power to the top, you apply the power to the bottom. OK, uh, root A is still A to the power of a half squared over the bottom one, A squared squared. OK, I'm using rule three again, which is a power to a power. OK, why? Because I've a to the power of a half by two. Do you see it? So it's telling me in that case it's a power. It's a power to a power. So therefore I multiply it. So it's a to the power of a half times two over and on the bottom, it's again a power to a power, so it's two times two. And then you multiply. So a half by two is one. And on the bottom, two twos are four. OK, then it's a division. So it's eight to the power of one over eight to the power of four. So you're using this rule. a to the power of one is what I have over a to the power of four. And it's telling me to subtract my powers, top minus the bottom. So in my case, that would be a to the power of one minus four and one minus four is minus three. So you'll also get at the answer if you if you do that. So you can see, you can see the questions are, are are, are, are difficult, but they're easy in a sense that all the rules are here. It's just, have you done enough practice of the rules of indices to be able to apply them and to be able to read the log tables? And then how you do them, the order you do them in is less important. You do them as you see them. OK, so let's try the second one now. Show that a root a all to the power of three over a to the power of four is equal to root a. OK, well, when I get a question like this, the first thing I tend to do is to write those square root signs as power of a half. And you see that A on its own at the front? I would write that A to the power of one. OK, so that I'd never forgot that that actually has a power of its own. We just don't normally write it in, but it is A to the power of one. OK. Um, and again, you could apply this rule here where you can apply the power to both terms inside. So you can see you have A and B in a bracket to the power of P. So you can go A to the power of P, B to the power of P. So in my case, I would have A to the power of one to the power of three, A to the power of a half to the power of three. But I think it might be a little bit easier if we add those indices first. And I'm adding them because this rule here, a to the power of p, a to the power of q, tells me to add the powers. So if I add those powers, I have 1 plus a half, which if you put into your calculator is 3 over 2 to the power of 3 over a to the power of 4. And you can see I only ever do one little piece at a time so that I don't get confused. I think now I would go a to the power of three over two to the power of three and use that rule three here, a power to a power. And that rule tells me to multiply my powers. So it's equal to on my calculator, a to the power of three over two by three. If you put that into your calculator, you'll get nine over two and it's still over a to the power of four. OK, that's a divide now. And if we look at the log tables, when it's a divide, they tell you to subtract the powers top minus the bottom. So that is a to the power of nine over two minus four. And if you put that into your calculator, that's four and a half minus four. So it's a to the power of a half. OK, and just like in any of them where I wrote root a is a to the power of a half, you can go backwards. a to the power of a half is, of course, the same thing as root a. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, 
why not consider our Level 7 in Electronic and Computer Engineering? This is a three-year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress on to the Level 8 in Electronics and Self-Driving Technologies and from there to the Masters. Check out the link below for more information.